A tank destroyer, tank hunter, or tank killer is a type of armored fighting vehicle during the World War II armed with a direct fire artillery gun or missile launcher designed specifically to engage and destroy enemy tanks often with limited operational capacities. Since World War II, tank destroyers have fallen out of favor as armies have favored multi-role main battle tanks. However, lightly armored anti-tank guided missile carriers are commonly used for supplementary long-range anti-tank work. In this video today, we will showcase to you the 10 best tank destroyers during World War II and do remember guys that this is merely a ranking video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 10. SU-100 the SU-100 was used extensively during the last year of the World War II and saw service for many years afterwards with the armies of Soviet allies around the world. Exported SU-100s continued in service until the 1970s and in some countries even later. Yugoslavs used them during the Civil War, however, due to lack of spare parts, they were quickly retired despite their satisfactory performance. The SU-100 remains in use by the Vietnam People's Army and the Korean People's Army Ground Force. The SU-100 quickly proved itself to be able to penetrate around 125mm and 80mm armor of the German Panther. It was a Soviet tank destroyer armed with a 100mm anti-tank gun and weighed about 34.8 tons. Number 9. SU-152 the Su-152 is a Soviet self-propelled heavy howitzer used during World War II. It mounted a 152mm gun howitzer on the chassis of a KV-1S heavy tank. It was capable of knocking out the heaviest German armored vehicles like Tigger, Panther and Elephant tank destroyers. Although not designed for the role, the Su-152 proved to be a cheap, widely produced and effective heavy tank killer, second only to the Su-100 as an anti-tank vehicle, as well as highly successful at its original role against infantry and fortifications. In combat, it was used for two distinct purposes. Long-range artillery fire support during assaults by suppressing infantry and destroying pillboxes and AT guns. The tank's front armor was 75mm thick and weighed about 50 US tons. Number 8. M36 The M36 Jackson tank destroyer was an American tank destroyer used during World War II. It first served in combat in Europe in October 1944, where it partially replaced the M10 tank destroyer. It also saw use in the Korean War where it was able to defeat any of the Soviet tanks used in that conflict. With the advent of heavy German armored tanks, the standard US tank destroyers were rapidly becoming obsolete because of its main armament. They had difficulty engaging these new tanks frontally past several hundred yards. In late summer 1942, American engineers had begun analyzing the potential of designing a new tank destroyer armed with a 90mm gun. M936 was one of these tanks that helped defeat the dreadful Nazi panzers during the war. Number 7. Elephant the Elephant tanks were optimized for destroying Soviet T-34 tanks and 76.2mm anti-tank guns from behind the front lines with its 88mm gun at a range of over 3 km, a role which it performed very well. The surviving Elephant tanks fought various rearguard actions in 1943 until they were recalled to be modified and overhauled. They have been the most successful mass-produced tank destroyer employed during the war in kills per loss, reaching an average claim to ratio of approximately 10 to 1, and had a maximum armor thickness of up to 200 mm and weighed up to 71.6 US tons. Number 6. M10 The M10 was numerically the most important US tank destroyers of World War II. It was mounted with a 76.2mm gun M7 in a rotating turret on a modified M4A2 tank chassis. Despite its obsolescence in the face of newer German tanks like the Panther and the introduction of more powerful and better design types as replacements, the M10 remained in service until the end of the war. 
During the war, the primary user of the M10 tank destroyer was the United States, but many were land leased to the United Kingdom and Free French forces. Several dozen were also sent to the Soviet Union. Number 5 is Stug 3. The Stug 3 assault gun was Germany's most produced fully tracked tank destroyer during World War II. It was built on a slightly modified Panzer III chassis, replacing the turret with an armored, fixed superstructure mounting a more powerful gun. Initially intended as a mobile assault gun for direct fire support for infantry, the Stug 3 was continually modified and was employed as a tank destroyer. The Stug 3 series proved very successful and served on all fronts from Russia to North Africa and Western Europe to Italy as assault guns and tank destroyers. Because of their low silhouette, Stug 3s were very easy to camouflage and be hidden and were difficult targets to destroy. This tank weighed only about 26.9 US tons. At number 4 is Hadza. The Hetza was a German light tank destroyer of the Second World War based on a modified Czechoslovakian tank chassis. It was covered entirely with sloped armor and possessed a compact form and low silhouette, giving it much improved defensive ability over other self-propelled guns. Armament consisted of a 75mm gun in fixed mounting as well as a remote-controlled MG-34 machine guns. It featured a wide body to accommodate the four-man crew, as well as strengthened lower hull with enlarged wheels, guide rollers and tracks. Owing to the ease of production and high operating rates, Hetze came to serve as Germany's main tank destroyer in the later period of the war, making an important contribution on the eastern and western fronts. At number 3 is Yachtiger. The Yachtiger is a German casemate type heavy tank destroyer from World War II. It was built upon the slightly lengthened chassis of a Tiger II. The 79 ton Yachtiger was the heaviest armored fighting vehicle used operationally by any participant nation of World War II, and it is the heaviest combat vehicle of any type to achieve serious production during the conflict. The vehicle was armed with a 128mm pack main gun which was capable of outranging and defeating any tank or AFV fielded by the Allied forces. It saw brief service in small numbers from late 1944 up until the end of the war on both the western and eastern front. Due to an excessive weight and a significantly underpowered drivetrain system, the Yachtiga was continuously plagued with various mobility and mechanical problems. At present, three Yachtiga survive in different museums around the world. Number 2 is M18 Hellcat The M18 Hellcat was an American tank destroyer of World War II, also used in the Korean War. It was the fastest US armored fighting vehicle on the road. The speed was attained by keeping armor to a minimum using the innovative automatic transmission and by equipping the relatively light vehicle with the same main gun used on the much larger Sherman tank. The armor of the M18 Hellcat was quite light to facilitate its high speed and provided very little protection from the most commonly used German anti-tank weapons. The Hellcat was the most effective US tank destroyer of the World War II. It had a higher kill-to-loss ratio than any other tank or tank destroyer fielded by the US forces in World War II. At number 1 is Yak Panther. The Yak Panther was considered the most successful German tank fighter and probably the best in the entire Second World War. Combining the 88mm KWK-43 gun from the Tiger II with the fast mobile Panther platform, the Yak Panther was a very effective tank destroyer. The lack of a rotating turret meant that the gun was laid by neutral steering the entire vehicle, but this was offset by the long-range accuracy of the 88mm gun which made very effective in an ambush, allowing the Yacht Panther to destroy Allied tanks at long range while moving the vehicle a small amount to acquire each target. During the war, over 400 tanks were produced, seeing action on both the Eastern and the Western European fronts. 
And that, guys, was the 10 best tank destroyers during World War II. Thank you guys for viewing and bye-bye.